Hey everyone, Susan Campfield here. How are you? Welcome to our Tuesday evening tutorial. Christmas week here, so I'm sure a lot of you are busy getting ready for the holiday. Hope some of you are able to join me tonight. We're just going to make a fun fold card. Um, the, just a new card layout. This layout would work with really anything you have. Um, it's uh, specifically well with a designer series paper, so that's what we're going to play with tonight. Hey, Patty, thanks for tuning in. So um, we're going to, I want to walk you through how to make this card. Um, we actually made this at my team holiday party. This was for my first level directs. So what that means is these are the people who signed up directly with me, and uh, they're my first level people then sign up to be demonstrators with them. Those are my other levels and I have a larger group. Um, that's everybody. So this was my um, my directs uh, holiday party and this was a mystery card that we did for that event. One of my team members, actually two of my team members, Carol Baumgartner and Kelly Burkhart helped me um, plan the meeting and Carol showed us, did the, the mystery um, card project for us, which was really fun. And um, I can't tell you how much I love these people um, that are in my, uh, I love all of my team, but especially my directs. They're why I do what I do. Um, they're so much inspiration to me and just, just the most joyful, wonderful people. They're just my heart. Love them to bits. Um, so they have 32 um, uh, directs right now. And um I also sent them a, a fun um, gift. I will, I'll post that later um, and just share what I, what I sent them. So, but let's go ahead and make this fun fold card. So I'm going to flip my camera. You'll see my uh, ceiling just for a moment here while I get set in my stand. Hold on. I should put something more exciting on my ceiling since you see it every week, right? All right. I wanted to walk you through, um, part of this card is just pretty basic um, dimensions, but I did want to walk you through the scoring part. I'm going to just slide that up a little bit so that you can see um, the um, score lines there. So uh, for this card, we need a, a five and a uh, four and a quarter by five and a half piece. And then we need another piece and I'm using pretty peacock. Uh, designer series paper here and the other piece is going to be cheating and looking at my notes um, and uh, four and a quarter wide by nine and three quarters and then we're going to score that piece at three and a quarter and six and a half and so what that's going to do is it's going to give us three equal sections um, that we're going to accordion fold. So we are now done with our scoring, or simply scored. We'll put that away. And let's bring in the rest of our pieces here. So I have that other piece we've talked about, which is just a quarter sheet of cardstock, also pretty peacock. And then we're going to use this gorgeous paper that's about to retire. This is the Christmas Gleaming Paper. It was introduced last holiday catalog, and it came back this holiday catalog, and it is about to retire. And in fact, I believe it's on clearance right now. Let's just check. I don't want you guys to miss out on any big deals. Oh yeah, so the Brightly Gleaming Designer Paper with that pretty copper is on sale for $7.50 right now. So it's half off. And I did check before I came online. It was not sold out yet, but things go really quick on that. So, um, so we have that piece. And then we want um, to take this and we're going to just accordion fold this. So I'm just going to use my bone folder to give it a good crease and I'm going to crease it back. Now I'm actually not making a holiday card. What I like about this Brightly Gleaming, it does have some patterns that are Christmassy, but other patterns that could be for anything. I'm actually making a sympathy card here. Um, this side you can see is more, um, more holiday-ish with the holly berries there, but I'm going to use this side and I'm going to make a, 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 a sympathy card here. So I also have um, now, I changed up the dimensions just a little bit from what we did at our uh, team event. At our team event, we cut two pieces of Whisper White that were three by four. I changed that a little bit and I'll show you why. Um, so I have one and that's gonna be for the inside piece. Whoops, I want this this way. So this is gonna be an accordion fold that's gonna go on the front of my card base. 
that's the part of the card that opens. So this will be for my inside message. But for the top here, um, I actually cut a piece a little bit different because this particular uh, fun fold calls for a piece of designer series paper here. But I wanted to show you a little trick on how you can stretch your paper. You know, this is my last package of this paper. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the most out of it, right? So a little paper saving tip for you. Instead of cutting a separate piece that would go on here, and if I did that, that piece would be uh, da, 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 two and three fourths by three and three fourths. But I'm gonna do what one of my other team members did. She wasn't able to join us on our Zoom um, event. Um, so she did her make and take. I, I shared the video with them so they could still do their mystery project and their make and take and so forth. And um, she emailed me. She was so excited. The next day she emailed me her cards that she made and she um, showed me how she um, saved paper. And so I wanted to share that with you because I thought it was brilliant. Actually, I think uh, Kelly and Carol mentioned this as a possibility too at our, um, when we are planning the meeting. So what I'm going to do is I... I'm going to be layering this designer paper onto my card base, like so. And then I'm gonna be layering this accordion piece on top of it. So I'm gonna be covering up this whole part and no one's ever gonna see it. So I'm actually going to cut that part out to use on the front of this piece. Now I could take my paper trimmer and just very carefully um, cut that out, but hey, that's what dies are for, right? <laughs> So I'm going to go the easy route. So I've grabbed my Stitch So Sweetly dies. These are the ones that I'm using on this card. These are from the annual catalog. And I'm going to take my die here, if it cooperates, if I can get it off the magnet. There we go. My nails are all breaking from the cold weather, so they don't work as good as they used to. So this is the largest of the scallop stitched rectangles that come in this set. You come up with a set of, of nesting scallop stitched rectangles. That's hard to say fast. And then these different shapes that are also stitched and, and nesting. So I've got the largest one here and I'm just going to center it in the middle of that piece. Now, um, it wouldn't be a bad idea to just secure that with a post-it note here so that it doesn't shift on me. I'm using these um, super cheap post-it notes I bought. Don't ever do that because they, <laughs> they don't stick very well. Um, they got them because they're all these fun colors. But yeah, these, you know, I think the priority on that is is that they should stick well. That's the whole point of a post-it, right? I'm just uh, I'm just sliding this over a bit because I'm uh, cutting this pretty tight, and I want to make sure I'm in the in the middle. So we're just gonna send that through. Oh, hit the lamp. Sorry. I'm gonna raise my lamp up. I have this awesome lamp. I absolutely love it for my desk. It's a um, it's an architect lamp, and it actually clamps onto the side of your desk, and it has this long articulating arm, so you can drop it, raise it, swivel it, do whatever you want to it. I love it. It's awesome. But I whacked it there, so I just pushed it up a little bit. All right. So what I've done is captured that middle section of my paper. So now I have a piece that can layer on the base. And I'm gonna hang, I'm gonna keep this for a second here because I have to do a, another piece. And then a piece that can layer on my accordion pocket piece. Not a pocket, my accordion piece that goes on top. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. Um, okay, before I put this baby away, let's do some quick stamping. As I said, I am making a sympathy card. And so I'm going to grab another stamp set from the annual catalog. Um, this is the prized peony stamp set. It has um, some nice um, sympathy greetings in there. I'm gonna use my thoughts are with you. And then so sorry for your loss. And then I'm just gonna do a little flower on the inside because you know, flowers are nice, right? You know what, this is just, Actually, I can leave it here. I can just, the beauty of this this uh, new die cutting machine, I can just flip up the bottom and get it out of my way so I can stamp, right? All right, let's bring in some paper here. Can you guys see okay? I'm gonna adjust this a little bit. Uh, okay, I have a little scrap piece here. Here it is. So let's grab the, did anyone see what Susan did with the pretty peacock ink pad? Oh, oh put it on my chair. There we go. So we've got the pretty peacock ink pad and we're going to take the, um, my thoughts are with you 
and I'm just going to stamp this on Whisper White. Now keep in mind, Whisper White is retiring. Um, the mill that manufactures the Whisper White cardstock is closing due to COVID and is actually already closed. And so uh, we cannot get any more of that cardstock. Um, it is, there is still packs available. It's limited two per person. And there are still some envelopes available, also limited two packs per person. Um, so if you are a fan of Whisper at White, as many of us are, um, you might want to slip in there and uh, get a couple packs or let me know and I'll order a couple packs for you. So I'm going to orientate my card this way. So I want to stamp my inside greeting. Um, this is so sorry for your loss. Sympathy cards are so hard to do, but they're so important, aren't they? Just to let people know you're thinking about them. And then I've just got the small peony from the set. And I'm just sticking it. This is all monochromatic. Again, doing the pretty peacock. Just in the corner, just for a little something-something there on the inside. So we're done with our pretty peacock ink. We'll put that away. We'll shove our dirty stamps over. Don't worry. I'll wash them later. Don't panic. Nobody panic. <laughs> and let's bring this guy back into the picture. Flip that down. Grab this. All right, so we're going to go back to those same dies. Post-its in here. I got everything. So the Stitch So Sweetly dies. I'm going to take out this shape. Oh, sorry, you probably can't even see that. I'm going to take out this shape right here. Sure you are, Susan. And um, I'm going to put my scallop rectangle back on here. And we can put those away. And we're just going to die cut that out. Right. So we've got my thoughts are with you. Ready to put our card together. So uh, what I was mentioning, I've got this piece that is three by four and that's going to go on the inside. Now I'm going to orientate the card this direction. So that piece is going to go on the inside. This piece I cut longer so that it would be a perfect layer for this scallop. So instead of doing this um, three by four, I did it three by four and an eighth because that's what fit for this particular die. Just would depend on what die you're using if you did this method. If you just um, cut out the center, you would cut it at three by four and then, uh, or you could cut it at two and three quarters by three and three quarters and then it would lay around the white. All right, so there we have, um, that's just popped in a layer and then we're just going to adhere this down. Just going to add a little adhesive in each corner. It is gorgeous paper, isn't it? That copper is just so elegant and so beautiful. So we're going to layer that right on there. Hey, Anita. Anita's one of my first level directs. She was at our team meeting. I'm doing that same fun fold that Carol Baumgartner showed us, but I'm going to orientate my card this way. So we're going to go ahead and add our accordion piece in there. I'm just going to check and make sure I've got it going the right direction before I adhere it in. <clears throat> we'll see if I get it right. I flip it upside down then, and then I, sometimes I still mess it up. But then you just turn the whole card over before you put the words on, and you're all good. So you do want to check it before you put your words on. Okay, we're just going to layer that piece on there. Yay, I did it the right way. <laughs> All right, now we're going to bring in this piece. So this is that piece I chopped out of the middle using that die from the Stitch So Sweetly. My seal plus here. There we go. And just going to layer that right on there. All right, so it's going to open up like that. Let's get our inside piece in there. 
Yeah, I love this DSP too. Pretty Peacock is just, a, it's such a rich, elegant color, isn't it? And paired with that copper, it's just to die for. So now we're going to add our sentiment on top here. And you know what I'm going to grab? My go-to. Gotta love some dimensionals, right? But then we're going to add a little bit of extra embellishments here because Susan's making this card and that's how I roll, right? Why and why not embellish if you can embellish? That's pretty much my motto. Okay, so we're going to um, make it even more stunningly gorgeous than it already is with that beautiful paper. So we're going to use some ribbon. Now this is ribbon comes in a two-pack. This is also on clearance. Um, normally this was eight bucks, I think, for these two pack, And right now it's $4 for the two, both rolls. Both rolls, four bucks. Um, it comes with this gorgeous copper ribbon and then, of course, this beautiful... Um, woven uh, mint macaron, which we've used um, quite a bit in the fall, didn't we? On some of our other cards. But this one, I'm just going to tie a, a, a wee little bow. I'm listening to a Scottish book right now, so <laughs> I'm going to talk Scottish, I guess. There we go. All right, we've got, I, lo I love Audible. Anyone else an Audible fan out there? I love audiobooks. Love, love, love them. I'd never get any laundry or dishes done if I didn't have audiobooks <laughs> because boring tasks are so much more fun if you're listening to a good book. All right, so we've got our uh, little bow there with the copper, and we're going to take our glue dots here and just going to add that on. Now, this was not the one I made for our team meeting during for our mystery stamping. I'll show you that one in a middle in a minute. It's of course made with brand new products that are coming from the upcoming catalog that starts January fifth. All right, and then I wanted to just add a little a bit of embellishments here. I wanted copper, so I did our trick that we did in the fall. I took my metallic pearls, the gold ones, and I colored them with the um, dark cinnamon cider blend which turns the gold a beautiful copper color so we've got instant copper metallic pearls to use Let's see if I can get the glue dot I'm just chasing it all over the paper and then I'm just going to add that right uh, one on each end here by the point Chase that all over. There we go. And there we have our sympathy card with the gorgeous Christmas gleaming paper. But isn't that a fun fold? So I think you can see that you could use um, that do this fun fold with any designer paper, any stamps, any elements. Um, the cards we did in the meet in the. Uh, Oh, Carol, I think Carol Garrison's here too. She was, she's one of my directs. She was at the event. Um, it was direct, it was this direction. So this was the one I actually did um, during our team meeting on Zoom last Friday night. And this one um, opens this way. And this is with um, some new celebration items that are coming. So in the celebration mini catalog, you'll have an opportunity to earn some uh, free things with a $50 purchase and some opportunities to earn some things for free with a $100 purchase. This one is um, a stamp set and designer paper that are free with $100. And that starts on January 5th. So that is our fun fold card. And I did have a question, so I'm just going to go ahead and answer that right now. So if you decide to join the demonstrator family um, during uh, celebration, there is a great perk. Uh, it's always a good perk, good deal to get the starter kit um, to join as a demonstrator. And when you get the starter kit during celebration, you're also going to get a whole bunch of free designer series paper um, that is going to be coming out in the June and the excuse me May annual catalog. Our annual catalog is going to be coming out in May this year, and so you're going to have um, five packages of six by six paper that'll be in the upcoming catalog. So that is the deal um, if you sign up during celebration. Now, when you purchase the starter kit, you don't get the free items. When you purchase the starter kit, you pay you get your your products for a huge discount. And then you get those five packages of special designer paper that nobody else can 
can get until May. Um, however, once you are a demonstrator and you go in and place your orders, not only will you get your discount, um, your demonstrator discount at that time, you can also take advantage of those celebration things. So um, somebody had asked me that question. I wanted to answer that. So thank you so much for joining me tonight. I'm going to flip the camera so I can say goodbye. Hold on, please. Thanks so much for being here tonight with me. Take care. Have a great, great Christmas. Uh, wonderful holiday. I hope you can relax. Do a little crafting time maybe. Um, eat a lot of cookies. Relax and um, just enjoy every moment that you can. And uh, I'll see you next week. We'll have our little, um, I guess, our little New Year's celebration here next Tuesday with another tutorial. Take care, everyone, and have a very Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.